This is McCook's Mr. Bilson. Honored to have you here. Where do you hide on a day after event? There's an awful lot of videos and books on the subject. To get away from the blast zones of the major cities or places that would be safer on the day after. But I'm amazed at how many people are looking for safe places today. Today, not on a day after event. The first time I ran into it, I had a gentleman and the kid showed up there at the candy truck and I didn't know him so I asked him, uh, where are you from? And he said, Arizona. I said, that's an awful long ways from McCook, Nebraska. And he said, I came here to hide. And I said, okay. He said, you don't understand. He said, the town that he'd lived in for so many years, he said that uh, the people were coming across the border to it, and he said, filling it up, and he said it changed. And he said, you seldom heard English spoken anymore down on the streets. And he said his kids were getting beat up going to or from school. He said it just wasn't a safe place for his family any longer. And so he said he had heard rumors that Nebraska was a white state. And I took that as a wee bit of racism, but I understood his fear of, for his family, if you will. And he said, so we started looking around and we decided on McCook, Nebraska. And I said, well, uh, we're not all white in McCook. He said, the minority is still a minority here. He said, when a minority becomes a majority, he said, that's when the troubles seem to start. Okay, very possibly. I didn't live his life. With that in mind, he came to McCook out of fear and for a place to hide, a safe place for his family. I had another gentleman, uh, he and his wife, newlyweds that uh, had went to uh, Chicago from a small rural area with a five-year plan they each were going to have full-time jobs, plus each have a part-time job. They were going to save up as much money as they could in that five-year plan and then come back to a rural area with that extra money to be able to buy a very nice home. That was the plan. But because they couldn't afford the higher rent in that city, they ended up in a seedier area, if you will, a more affordable area. And the minorities there were a majority. And he said between that and the gangs, he said it was absolute terror to live there. Violence seemed to be everywhere and fear of it. And so they lasted 13 months and they said they just couldn't stay there any longer and they left. They ended up in Kansas and then finally to the city of McCook to hide from the gangs and the violence that they saw in Chicago. Absolutely. But not everybody comes to McCook for those kind of reasons other than simply they came here to get a free house. So I'll finish with this. A couple I know, they lived some distance away from McCook, but they had a brother that passed away and that brother owned a home here in McCook, free and clear. And so he offered in his uh, will a right for any relative to come and live in that house if they'd sign a contract saying they will stay in that house for 10 years. In 10 years, the house is theirs, free and clear. They pay nothing for it other than to upkeep it for that 10 years. And at the end of the 10 years, they can sell it. And they said, well, that worked out pretty good because in 10 years, they would be retiring. And then they'd ha be able to sell that house and they wanted to go down south for a milder climate in their older age. But they came here also, they talked about it, to hide from the crime in the city that they were coming from. Yeah, not much bigger than McCook, but there was more crime and there was more problems. Is McCook and cities this size around the nation going to be the sanctuaries 
for more and more people trying to get away from the violence, whatever they perceive it to be, and to, to find a place that's safe for their families to raise and to enjoy life the best they can. Where's your idea of a best place to hide? <laughs>